the three major causes of lung cancer are smoking, smoking, and smoking. Lung cancer is a very serious malignancy, and the vast majority of lung cancers that are found in the United States today come from tobacco smoke. Not all of them. There's a variety of heavy metals, uh, asbestos, uh, radon gas that can also cause lung cancers. The big problem with smoking is taking tobacco leaves, burning them, taking those products of combustion, bringing them into your lungs. They're just loaded with a variety of carcinogens. Now, tobacco also is one of the best plants if you want to remove toxic metals from the ground. If there's a terrible radioactive spill, the best thing that you can plant just about is tobacco. It will suck up heavy metals and radioactive ones out of the ground uh, and actually concentrate them in the leaves. And so what can happen is you burn those leaves, you breathe them in, and, and the uh, products of combustion then land on your lungs inside your lungs and then even radiate them, uh, giving them extra risk for, for uh, malignancy. If we can reduce the amount of smoking that people do, we will dramatically reduce their lung cancer risk. 40% of the time, the presenting symptom of lung cancer is disease spread outside the lung, a brain metastasis, a bone metastasis, uh, a coughing up blood. Uh, those kinds of things are, are very often the presenting symptom. One of the greatest advances in lung cancer, in my opinion, in the last 10 years uh, has been uh, the development of lung cancer screening technologies. Getting low-dose screening CT scans actually improves survival. It's actually a better cancer uh, test than pap smears, colonoscopy, and mammography. It has a higher incidence of finding a cancer, and it actually show, has been shown to improve survival in patients that are screened. Survival for middle-stage lung cancers at the best centers is actually double what it was 10 years ago.